popping guys, but what the hell is this? Oh, it's just a pop. I said what's popping, then a pop up came up. All right, what a way to start the video. Um, today we're gonna be touching base on Little Wayne. Are his dreads a disaster, or are they unique? Now Wayne, I go all the way back to 2009 with the dude. I feel like I went to school with the guy. That's how much I listened to his music. Maybe even earlier. Like when I heard Fireman, that's when it first came out. Woo! I was like, he's. Hopefully, he sticks around for a while. And they kept coming out with like mixtapes. And uh, I don't know how long he was going to stay around for, but it looked like they were putting like other lyrics on over, over other beats to make it look like he was still in the game. Once I heard the drought, no lows kind of out, like whatever, mixtapes that came out, I'm like, he's in it. He never left. But, um, to be quite honest with you, I think his dreads are very unique. He, he is, his style is unique, his tattoos are unique, all around a good guy. He does suffer from seizures and, I think, epilepsy. Um, epileptic seizures. I don't know if that has anything to do with the cough medicine or like, I know it might be rude to say that. I'm sorry if it offends anyone. But I mean, diet and as well taking care of yourself has a major part in playing with how you function in the world. And uh, that might be hindering the process if he's, if that's how he wants him to look. I don't judge people based on how they look. I, I judge personality. If you're a good person, if you got effed up locks, I'm still going to talk to you. If you have good locks and you're an effed up person, more than likely I'm never going to talk to you again. That's how I lay it out in black and white. I don't care who you are. I won't talk to you if you have a shitty personality. I don't care if you locks it down to the ground. I don't care if you pull a Ziggy, Damian Marley. I don't care. You got to be a good person. It's character that plays within, I was going to say it's character that plays within the character, but I don't know if that makes sense. Um, you know, pretty much for me, all I do is, forget it, let's not talk about me, this is about Little Wayne, alright? That thunder is loud. Yesterday, look, I could have sworn it like, literally hit right in front of my house. It got bad yesterday. I don't know what the hell happened. Hopefully there's not another storm coming. Every day it's an effing storm. In the winter time, it's always rainy. The rainy season is here, so that's what you expect from Florida. I mean, it's whatever. But no, I think a lot of people get their inspiration from Wayne. I mean, he is what wanted me to start the dreads. As soon as I saw the mirror on the wall video, is that how it is? Mirror by Bruno Mars and Lil Wayne. His dreads look fleet. Let's never use that word again. His dreads look, you know, really good. And uh, they look really maintained before he we went to um, jail. I don't know what happened. I think jail maybe fucked the whole process up because he was in there for about eight months. So maybe I should do a little bit of studying on Little Wayne before I make videos, but I think he is an amazing, I think he's, an amazing, for all the interviews I ever heard with him, there may be one or two bad interviews I've ever heard with Little Wayne, and they were all just a justification of, you know, what you're dealing with when you talk to one of these gangster ass rappers who have like a revolutionary state of mind because you never know what question might pick someone off so you gotta be like on your guard I guess I would never interview people that must be a tough job I'm, I like talking about people and saying truthful things not lies or bringing up past situations and shit that's kinda like what I just did though it's in the beginning of the video, I'm talking about his mixtapes. <laughs> but anyways, Lil Wayne is a character, dude. He uh, definitely has, uh, he inspired me to do what I had to do. Along with some other rappers. 
As soon as I listen to Migos, that's when I shot off and got the dreads. I was like, I need to get them. Migos, I was like, yep, I'm getting them. Cash out, I'm getting them. Because back during in the day, about five years ago, they had some hot ass songs with people with dreads. I don't know, it was just a. Now it's like the end of an era, pretty much. You know, everyone's getting rid of them. It's lame now. But now they're coming back because Guns N' Gray got him back again. He literally cut so much hair off. Maybe he didn't. He brushed a lot of hair out and combed. Did the method where you gotta spend at least 15 hours in a chair to get them all out of your head. <laughs> I would not do that. I would get the buzzer and just go right down to the scalp and regrow my shit. Back into like a lion's mane or something. Just flourish with the wind and go back to being free. But locks are meant to be free. They're meant to look like this. They're not meant to be healthy. They're meant to be dread. Like you ever heard the word dread? I'm gonna type that in on the Urban Dictionary. We'll see what comes up. Dread Urban Dictionary. I'm sure it comes up with like a a word that's very uh, dreadful. <laughs> okay, not Instagram. Thank you. It's not giving me anything. Oh, that's because I was videos. Okay. Alright, hairstyle made popular by Rastas, got the name from the white man's supposed to be aversion. Okay, I can't understand one word. It's not giving me much to work on here, I need a little bit of wiggle room. I don't want to hear it. I'm pulling the head back, I'm kidding dude. Alright, I don't know. It's not doing nothing for me. Not coming up with a freaking definition for what I'm looking for. All right, I'll come up with my own definition. Dreads are dreadful because back then on the slave ships, the flies used to land on the slaves and they'd have to shake their hair in order to get the flies off them. That's not racist. I, that's the story I heard from someone. And he just so happened to be African American. So I don't know if it's true or not. It's very sad, so I guess that's where the name come, originates from. And then Rastafari, Rastafari, Rastafarians. <laughs> Sorry for that. I'm like talking over my own tongue here, trying to put a word together. Uh, I think it's cool, man. I mean, style is unique. We're dreads are a little weird. They're kind of thinning out a little bit. I'm going to go on Lil Wayne's Dreads. Let's see what comes up. Well. There's been a lot of thinning. Embraces that he is going bald. He embraces it, so that's all that matters, you know? Now, if you're a heavy drinker and you and you poison your body all the time, don't expect good things to happen. Cause it will get pretty shit. What the shit? Alright, this definitely ain't Little Wayne, but it looks like Soldier Boy. <laughs> Yo, take a look at this. Does that look like a little wing to you? He yeah, has like a full paper. That can't be real. I think they pulled my leg on that one. But listen, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay in tune. I think I'm done making the video now. You can only go so far into the conversation that begins to get boring. But yeah, yeah. Put your hands in the air if you're a true player. I'm done. Deuces. Sign out.
Alright, I'm not... No, I'm kidding. Peace!